Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Com, and this is a new series called 30 for 30, where I do 30 rapid fire critiques in 30 days, 15 Adorama picks, and 15 Squarespace rapid fire critiques. If you want to see all of the rapid fire critiques in one place, go ahead, click up on the screen right now. We'll take you over to the website to do that, but let's get into a critique. It's time for another Squarespace rapid fire critique, part of my 30 critiques in 30 days. This time we have Patrick Gorski Photography's website. This is not built off of a Squarespace site, but if you want to try Squarespace out for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash fro to get your 14 day free trial. I think you will like it. So it looks like we have a very sports friendly website here. Uh, or a sports-friendly photographer. I grew up shooting sports. That was my mainstay. I'm not very happy to see a Chicago Blackhawks raising the cup. That's just me. So let's take a look around the site. We have sports, auto racing, baseball, soccer. But why do we have MLB, NHL, Stanley Cup published, and all of these over here? Sports should have MLB, NHL. It should have all of that stuff listed there. So we got auto racing, which I know nothing about. Cars on fire, oh no, these Dutch angles, just because, look, we already know that auto racing, earmuffs if you take offense to auto racing quips, is boring to shoot, we'll just say, because cars go around in a circle. But by doing this, you're not making the picture any better. We all know that it's not uphill racing NASCAR. So, get, stop it, and get rid of your low, this does not, your, your watermark, does not belong on your photos. Let me reiterate this again for everybody at home. I'm not upset. I'm just slightly perturbed. Your watermark on your own website isn't needed on your own photos. I don't even think it's needed for anywhere else anymore because if you protect your work in terms of you put in your metadata, if somebody's gonna wanna steal it, they're going to steal it, you have to stop worrying about the 2% of the assholes out there and, wor and worry about the 98% of the people that like seeing your work clean and unobtrusive, unobtruded, and you'll be much happier. But stop doing photos like this. So I like that it has this information over here to the right-hand side. I'm gonna go back. So we've got sports, let's go to baseball. Or did that say basketball? I couldn't read it. It said basketball. Interesting. So first thing I notice here is that this is a, is a website built on Flash. That is terrible. Why is that terrible? Flash was a thing five, six, ten years ago. Flash was the thing. You wanted that to be vibrant on your website and, and it would load. It would take a while to load. Today, Flash isn't supported on any Apple device. And a lot of other things are killing Flash. Chrome killing Flash. Uh, Mozilla killing Flash. They still show it but it's not mobile friendly. It uses a lot more power. If your site is still based off of Flash and not HTML5, you need to make the change. I'm gonna tell you, you need, this is definitive, you need to get rid of Flash on your website. I think this stuff would look awesome on a Squarespace site. Go check it out. And that's not just a, that's not just a plug to plug, that's just to tell you that this site is okay, but Flash is a killer. Flash is no good on a website anymore. Um, it's just, it just throws me off, I'm gonna go back to the main page, it just throws me off that we've got sports, but then we have two more sports and a Stanley Cup listed here. Why don't you just list it as, instead of sports, have auto racing, basketball, soccer, Major League Baseball, NHL, do that. I don't understand why these are under a drop down menu themselves. Isn't, what's different? Basketball, soccer, and so why does one have a slideshow but the other doesn't have a slideshow? Keep those in mind. Try to keep it consistent across the board. And let's see what happens when we get an MLB. Loading, loading, loading. You see, that's loading. Uh, I, I know these photos are good. The photos are very good. They, they serve the purpose. There's a good number of photos. I like the amount of images, maybe slightly too many. But like I've said, flash is gone, dead and gone. What do we got? The share buttons? I'm gonna comment on the coloring here. Uh, the color is so far off on these shots, you really need to either go color correct them or something because it, it just, it, I'm a hockey guy. I shot hockey for a long time and that is, and I shot professionally doing that. The color on these shots, there's nothing wrong with your shots. It's the, pro, it's the color, they're too green and they're too yellow. You can pull, simply pull that stuff out and this is highly cropped. Highly cropped is highly bad. Oh, I'm very critical on photos like this. 
there's some good photos from up here, especially for news agencies, but the color, you got to get them better, especially for on, on your site. Shooting a Stanley Cup, that's a hell of a lot more than I can say. I've never been that close to the Cup. I've only been the one Stanley Cup game, and the Flyers got shut out, or maybe they scored a goal. It was like 3-1, but it was terrible. It was horrible. It was no good. So congratulations on getting access like this to be as close as you were to a Stanley Cup champion. I mean, that that's absolutely incredible to be there, down there doing that. Too many pictures here. Um, I know you you got to pick the best of the best, and, yes, you have all these guys with uh, – uh, you know, raising the cup, but you don't need this many of Taws raising the cup. Sorry, Taves raising the cup. Um, pick the best one and go with that and get rid of Flash. Let's see, published. This seems to be the new thing today is like when you get published online, you go ahead and you, and you do screen grabs like this. So I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm not, there's no problem with that at all. I just wish that photo was that one. Anyway, anyway, published about. Let's see what we got under the about page. My name is Patrick Gorski, and I, I love when you do it first person. I say it time and time again. Own it. You are the photographer on your website. You tell people this is what you do. Uh, based in North west side of Chicago, Illinois. I specialize in sports photography. I'm available for assignment. For any photography need, you can contact, contact me here. I cover the Chicago area, but I'm willing to travel. Some of my clients include Chicago Tribune, Icon Sportswire, Max Pratt, Varsity Views, NW Indiana, o Oleman, and Game Face Media. I cover local news and sports assignments for the Pioneer Press local newspaper. In addition, I cover the Chicago blah, 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 blah. The above photo was shot. Shows, shows, a, shows a Patrick on the ice during the... That's interesting. Shows it should just be like me on the ice, even though you're not on the ice, you're actually on the bench. Um, so I like I like the about page. Let's see contact. It's simple. It's fine. We got a phone number. We can send an email. We can go to all the different social buttons. The site isn't bad. Whatever it is isn't bad. It's just the fact that it's using Flash that that is throwing me off. So in conclusion here. Corrections that I would make is I would, I would pick the best of the best of the best from each sport. I would put together an overall sports portfolio or an overall best 15, 12, 15 pictures from each sport that you shoot. Having too many images of the Chicago Blackhawks raising the cup, it's too many images. I want the best shots to be shown, not repetitive, this guy holding the cup, this guy holding the cup. Tell the photo story of what you're doing and post that. And that is why people, you know, people will come to hire you for that. But other than that, you got to get off a Flash-based website. I don't care what site you use. Yes, I talk about Squarespace, and yes, I recommend Squarespace for you guys to use. But I don't care if you pick a free builder or whatever it is. Just make sure it looks professional. Make sure it doesn't have flash and that it's mobile. For, is this a mobile-friendly site? I didn't even check that out. Let's see. No. Well, yes, it is. It's sort of responsive. Not fully responsive, but it is sort of responsive. That responsive just means that when you move it, the images shrink and everything goes so that it still looks good. I'm going to leave it at that. I highly recommend, okay, before I leave it at that, it's another Squarespace Rapid Fire Critique from my 30 for 30. If you are looking for a turnkey solution that's better than whatever this was built on, I highly suggest you check out Squarespace and take the 14-day free trial. No credit card needed. If you, are, if you haven't built a portfolio yet, just try it. If you don't like it, no harm, no foul. It doesn't cost you anything. If you do like it, go ahead and use my code FRO at checkout to get 10% off your first year. The entire year, 10% off. It's going to bring it down to like 8 bucks a month. That is great to showcase your work, and I love using it. So there you have it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. To check out all the videos from this 30 for 30 series, go ahead and click up on the screen right now. It's going to take you over to the post over on froknowsphoto.com where you can see all 30 posts once they are live.